Hey, what's up, you guys? It's iPod Touch Reviewer 970 here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you like this is a tutorial on how to make your iPad into a like a laptop, I guess you could say. Um, this is Word 2010 installed on your iPad for free. So the first thing you want to gonna want to do is to go on onlive.com. Uh, make an account on there because you're gonna need to use that for the app that I'm going to show you. And uh, if you go into the App Store, you will see that the app is on Live Desktop. Uh, go ahead and install it once you have successfully made your account. When you open it up, I have this loading screen right here. You can see I already have my username and password uh, in. So once you get logged in you will see that it is a full on Word 2010 uh, experience. Uh, so there it is right there. You can see our mouse is right there. And if you hook this up to a uh, wireless keyboard and use a wireless mouse with a jailbroken tweak, uh, I do not know what the tweak is called, but you can find out what that is because you can use a mouse to um, control your iPad. So you can hook it up to this mouse right here and probably use it so that'll be really cool and it'll be just like a laptop but I think that that is a little bit too much hassle for me so yeah I'm good with just using my finger and the touchscreen keyboard on the computer so as you can see down here we have the little Microsoft logo and if we tap on it it'll open it up and that looks just exactly like a computer this is just amazing how they've made this. This should have been out the f since the first generation came out. You can see we have a calculator built in right up there. You can do 2 uh, times 2 equals 4. <clears throat> I know, like, first grade problem. Um, then we have note cards right here where if we bring up the keyboard up in top right there, uh, this will pop up and we can type stuff inside the uh, notepad. You can see it gives us different suggestions right here such as poker, pokey, and poking. And we can just go ahead and close it just like that and then go ahead and close this note tab and it asks us if we want to save the notes. Uh, one thing that you can do with this is you can save all of these files and if you have the OnLive desktop app installed onto your computer you can literally sync files from your iPad um, like before I show you uh, Microsoft Word if you type like your English paper or whatever on here then you can transfer it over to the uh, your Mac PC whatever uh, so that's pretty cool as you can see right up there in the corner sync completed finish syncing files um, I don't know why because I don't have the online desktop uh, thing uh, app installed on my PC, so I don't know why that did that. But um, and then we also have a painting thing where we can draw stuff just like that, which is pretty cool. You can see it's pretty responsive. There's a little lag, but you know what do you expect for the first? This is literally the first desktop app that I've seen that is like exactly like a laptop I mean see right here don't save because I really don't want to save it uh, but down here you can change the sound right there and you can see it's just like a computer so it's pretty cool and then right there you can see if the files are synced and there's a check mark down there which means that it is uh, right here is I don't really know what this is. Uh, I think it's like a college thing. Yeah, Microsoft Surface College. Uh, so I think this like gives you different suggestions for your papers that you're writing. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and exit out of that because I don't want to listen to that. Uh, so let's go ahead and go into Microsoft Word. So you can see just like a computer and there it is. This is pretty sweet, guys. Uh, you can see we have our zoom in down here that we can zoom in. And I think that if you hook this up to a wireless computer, then you can also print uh, papers right off of the iPad, which is pretty crazy, um, knowing that you're 
printing it off like wirelessly like that like that's just amazing uh, so if you go in the file right here uh, that's the uh, let's go ahead and bring the keyboard up uh, if you go into file right here you can see uh, print and save and send all that stuff is blocked off because it's not like a real laptop I guess you can say um, but we can do everything that a computer can do just like this references review of course I don't have anything I'll type a couple things you can see the keyboard is pretty responsive uh, a little lag but you know same as the drawing thing what do you expect for a first um, keyboard or not keyboard um, so you can see it uh, does this right here ABC uh, spelling and grammar check so that's pretty pretty amazing uh, and then we can also uh, once again do not save uh, then we can go into Microsoft Excel which um, I don't really use this at school a lot so I don't really know how it works uh, and then another really cool thing uh, that did not seem to okay right there on uh, Microsoft PowerPoint and these are all 2010 so they're up to date to the latest software and I mean 2010 that's only two years ago so you know it's still some pretty good software well uh, that's mainly all it does there's no Internet Explorer yet um, I don't know how much longer they're gonna they're gonna get away with this because this is a free desktop um, I think Apple might remove this sooner or later but um, if you go into pictures you can actually uh, change that online uh, desktop to any of these like a lighthouse if I wanted to and to right click you you just have to hold it down like this and then a circle will go around it and you can go ahead and set desktop background and, uh, this should be it nope won't happen uh, looked earlier set as desktop background there you go. So that, that looks pretty cool. I'm going to save that now. Um, so yeah, this is all completely free. I did not know if it was going to work myself it, when I saw it. But there's the app right there on my desktop. Right there. Go and get it. It's You're not going to regret it. Uh, I don't think it, this will work on the iPhone or iPod Touch. I've yet to try it because I already have it on my iPad. But I think I might go and try it. But I don't think I've seen it inside the App Store. Uh, so you need an iPad for this, unfortunately, for all of you iPhone and iPod Touch users without one. Um, but anyway, I want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video.